All right, Buck, we've made it to Super Bowl week here, Super Bowl 51. And as we kind of preview this game, I thought let's look at the two quarterbacks here, Tom Brady, Matt Ryan, and how teams are going to try and slow them down in the big game. Talking about two leading candidates for the MVP award, how can you change the way that they've been playing? Because they've been sensational for the entire season. All right, let's go back to week 10 of the regular season for both these guys. We saw the Pats lose to Seattle. We also saw Atlanta fall to the Eagles. You start us off with Tom Brady and what you learned watching that tape, Buck. Number one thing that you have to do if you're going to stop Tom Brady, you have to find a way to get pressure in his face. As a non-athletic quarterback, he's a guy that likes to sit right in the middle of the pocket. You you have to disrupt the timing. Here are the Seattle Seahawks able to get pressure up the middle. They're able to take him down. Because Tom Brady can't escape, pressure is paramount. You want to make sure that you put it <laughs> right up the gut. Now, this play has a lot of things going on. But what we're going to see a basic single high coverage, three deep zone. Look, there are plenty of windows in this cover. He's got nowhere to throw the there ball here, Buck. the top of his drop. All covered up. He's looking for wide receivers. No one is open. What Tom Brady is so good at normally is finding the check down in the area. But now we see him scanning, looking for a check down. You see the pressure that typically gives him problem right up the middle. Tom Brady's going to try and slide. Remember, I talked about limited athlete, doesn't like to move around, wants to sit from that grassy knoll and deliver. Because he has now been thrown off his spot, he's having a tough time locating receivers. And we see Tom Brady do something that he normally doesn't do. That is force the ball into tight windows. This is not the Tom Brady that we're used to seeing. And part of it is because the coverage was great, the pressure up front was fantastic, and it forced him to make a big mistake. That's the best XO I've ever seen. <laughs> Phenomenal. Give me one more. All right, so if you're not going to be able to do that, you got to make sure you take away the deep shots. If you're able to knock him around early, you can kind of change even the best quarterback in the game. They don't like to be hit. They don't like to have their timing disrupted. Here we see Tom Brady with two guys running down the seams. Martellus Bennett is wide open to his left. He doesn't spot him. He locks on to Rob Gronkowski, tries to force a ball into the big Pro Bowl tight end. Can't do it. Gronkowski takes a big shot. When you think about playing the Patriots, you want to make sure you affect Tom Brady, change his rhythm, and allow him to throw off a deep spot. You see the numbers there, Buck. You got to get to him. You get to him three plus times. You got a good chance of winning. If you don't get to him, good luck. Uh, as we transition over here to Matt Ryan and look at this game against the Philadelphia Eagles, a couple things that uh, that jump out at you. You see the stats there. This is their least productive game of the year against Philadelphia. You see you got two high safeties here, Buck, so we're going to read the corner. Corner is going to be sinking here to take away Julio Jones, and this is a problem you can have when you have a superstar like Julio. You lock in. Instead of taking the layup underneath the gimme, you got a sinking corner. He fires right into it, and you end up getting – uh, in interception there. So, Matt Ryan, if you're the Falcons, you hope he doesn't get so locked in because you know the Patriots are going to try and take him away. The next thing you want to do if you're New England to get to Matt Ryan is you want to send numbers at him. Here he's going to send six. He's going to run a little game inside. And look at all the free run-throughs they're going to get here at Matt Ryan. And then you see the mechanics start to fall apart a little bit. We talked about that a little bit with Aaron Rodgers earlier in the season when he got under some heat. Now the last play here. You're going to see, again, getting some inside pressure and some push. We talk about pocket push. You get it right here with big number 91 out of oh, Mississippi right. State. Fletcher Cox. Nice. Fletcher Cox just runs right through the interior offensive line. Right here he's got plenty of room, and then he just walks him right back to the quarterback, and you end up getting an errant throw. So you, you got to hope if you're the Falcons he doesn't get too locked on, and you got to hope that your front holds up. If they do hold up, I think Atlanta's got a chance to pitch and catch it around the yard pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. If they can hold up, they absolutely have a talented set of skilled players that can make things happen on the perimeter. They want to play that run and chase game. If you're the New England Patriots, you got to make sure you knock Matt Ryan around. The one common thing for both of these quarterbacks, if they get hit, their games will change. You have to make sure that you protect them and allow them to do what they've done all year. All right, it's time. The time has come. we got to pick a winner here, Bucky. I'll let you go first. Give me not only who's going to win, give me a score. I'm going to go with the MVP. I'm going to say Matt Ryan gets it done. Atlanta wins 24-21. He has a spectacular game. He and Julio Jones go big. Here's the thing. I, I don't know that, that the Falcons are going to be able to get enough pressure on Tom Brady, and because of that, I like the Patriots winning a close game here 28 
to 24, and lo and behold, Tom Brady is the MVP of the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah? That's the way I see it going. All right, you like the Falcons. I like the Patriots uh, here in Super Bowl 51. All right, those at home, you're interested in scouting? Email us a scouting report. Move the sticks at NFL.com. You can check NFL.com slash scouting competition for more details. This competition runs through February 17, 2017. No purchase necessary. Open to the legal residents 18 and older of the United States and the District of Columbia. Fun contest. Check it out.